few. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a side. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were Killing each other over scraps of food. Sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, um, that night in Farewell, my mongrel's ring, do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know, I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. <laughs> You've been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. <laughs> what? Nothing, just... Looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? Got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. <clears throat> Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps. Set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Ah, damn it, Roots. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn news. Now, come on, let's just go around. We're not going to free you. No. Whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? I think I can get this. There. 
That did it. Through here, looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. You ready? Push! Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh shit! Oh fuck. Yeah. Alright, well, why don't we find another way? No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. What? We can do this. Uh we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... Just close this up tight. All right. Come on down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. <laughs> place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? No. Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Oh, Deacon! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Laughing. I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am, whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah, maybe one did. Come on, I think we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here, let me... No, I got this, I got it. See, I told you. See, like I said, I got this. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. We're not giving up now. Just asking. Now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. <laughs> Shit! More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh, uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building, it's over there. 
Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey! Another open window! Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it! Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Damn it, Sarah! 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 No! Damn it! No! Sarah! 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 Hey. God. Oh my God. There's. There are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed freaks before. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? <clears throat> no, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. Well, I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. But we gotta check, right? Nope. That's not gonna open. It's okay, I'm sure it's jammed like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait, sorry. Hold on, hold on for a second. Those are. Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means. There's gotta be a way from the roof. Come on. Come on, the roof's low over here. Yep, we just have to. Find a way up. Sarah, here. Uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push. Hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we didn't have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? They remind me of this girl. The one in Farewell. The one that fucking stamped you. She didn't know what she was doing. None of them know what they're doing. Don't stop them from killing them. I know that. That's 
the last of them. You enjoyed that? Well, killing newts? No, but I mean, you gotta admit they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. I got this. They smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. No sign of a violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that like the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Let's do this. Stay put. Keep your head down. Yeah, good idea. it's gonna get. Let's move. Okay. Okay. All right, I got it. Let's go.
Deacon, stay down. Yeah, got it. How more you? How you doing on ammo? I noticed that. There's more of them, a lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. We're up here, you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you, you fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. <clears throat> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Hey, this way. I'm coming. <sighs> I 
Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. St. John, you come back real soon. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Mr. Rasbien, you'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go no, 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 no. I don't think so. Co Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Hey, do you think the freaks remember anything? Their life? You know? Hey, you're not supposed to be here. What's up? Hey. <sighs> well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dude, I could you check out. I can't get what I need there. You. God, you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I. Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel, Captain. Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good, with D Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. 
Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step on his status. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks getting pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and tats like uniforms. I and mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and lights. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into camp. I don't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniform. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a... Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <laughs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my God. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that about, you know, hoping to see another day? Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We 
must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help me move us or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I've seen worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Ari's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Ari? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... <sighs> what the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on.
They're infected. That's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Ari? Why is Ari working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot you, bitch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. <gasps> yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot. But I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? Deacon, that was time? so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte.